Hardcore YouTube, this is MT Shark 7 here. This is another edition of Game Pickups. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done a pickup video, so, um, yeah, as you can see, I've been busy, kind of busy setting up my game room. There's still a couple of stuff I still need to clear out. I need another media shelf right next to the arcade cabinet over there. I need, um, want to buy one of those big, like, things that have cubbies in it to put right here on top on underneath the entertainment center to store more consoles and that should be it pretty much and I have to figure out like more stuff I can put on top of the shelves as well so yeah I've been super busy with that and dealing with house stuff which I'll I'll make a chit chat video explaining all that later on probably tonight who knows but uh, I just you're all here for the pickup, so uh, let's get started. So uh, first up, I got a bunch of limited run stuff, so I'll try and breeze through that. First up, we got Octodad, Dadliest Catch, in the glare there, for PS Vita. And we also got it, oh god, what's the hell, it's not in order? Oh, clearly it's not. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we also got it for PS4. It came with all the stickers and all that stuff. And then next up we ended up getting Zero Drifter for PS Vita and PS4. And then this disc got loose. I don't know how that happened. That kind of sucks. But it didn't come with the cardboard thing, but it did come with the sticker. I don't know why they messed up that. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's see, which one is this? Oh, then we got Lost at Sea, the disc disc is loose as well, but it came with the card and the sticker, which there's things I usually keep together. Then we got Solander X2 Final Prototype for the PS Vita, and it came with the card, sticker, and the disc, I mean the, the soundtrack. Got that, so that's exciting. Then the last one, and actually that Octodad is, was the dadliest one, or the, the dad version, where you get the tie, but uh, they never sent out the tie, so I don't know what the hell is going on with that shit. And lastly, I ended up getting Breach and Clear Deadline for PS4, and it came with the sticker and the little card. Unfortunately, this didn't come with the, the soundtrack. So I emailed them, and I was like, hey, mine's supposed to come with a soundtrack, and they haven't got back to me. They, it's weird, because they did get back to me when I asked about shipping, because they said this was shipped to my house when it was really Solander X2, or however you pronounce that, Solander? I think that's pronounced right, I don't know. But they emailed me back saying that the tracking numbers could have gotten mixed up, but they said they shipped it out, and next day I got this, but no... CD, or I mean soundtrack rather. So hopefully they can ship it out. It would suck if I spent all that money and they don't send that to me. And I also got an extra copy of Octodad, Dad's Deadliest Catch. This one's a duplicate. Um, it's a, also, um, I'm also missing a tie for that as well. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully they can give me my stuff. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, today I ended up picking up some Game Boy cases. I needed some. I, I used two of them, so I didn't pay $6 for three of them. It's ridiculous. And then I ended up picking up this Game Boy Advance game that I did. Dark Arena? Which, I it's not an arena game, kind of. It's not really an arena game, like like Unreal Tournament or whatever. But it's, it's a first-person shooter. It's kind of neat. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, Lakestone a little bit. I only played a little bit of it. It looks cool. Probably have to sit down and play some more of that later. What else? I ended up picking up a bunch of Xbox games from Nick. This one I ended up getting up at getting at the thrift store. It's Forza Motorsport, which is I'm surprised I didn't have this one. I always thought I did. But I looked at my um Video game inventory wasn't there, so I was like, well, I gotta pick it up. And then I finally got this game. I'm super excited. I saw Flock of Nerds play this game, and, I, and before that, I always wanted it, but seeing 
then play it and watching the gameplay made me, <clears throat> excuse me, made me want it even more, and that's black. I mean, granted, they played the PS2 version, but I got it for uh, Xbox. Next up, we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X, which even though this isn't a only for Xbox game, I'm going to consider it an only for Xbox game because it, it's the 2X. It's not 2, it's 2X, which I believe has its, I believe it has its extra, only, probably has a uh, specific level, probably. I mean, I haven't really looked into much detail. But I know they, I believe they improved the graphics and all that other nonsense, but, oh well, it's Tony Hawk. It's a good, it's a good game anyway, so. And lastly, I got Zionide, is that how you pronounce that? Which is supposed to be a really good shooter. I think it's a shooter. I don't know. So I'm super excited to pick that up. I got that from, uh... McFly's 8-Bit Avenue. And this is probably the last item I got from there. Since, unfortunately, they closed down. But, super excited to get that for an awesome deal. Then I got Moto Crash still in the packaging. I plan on doing a Let's Play of this as well in the near future. Then for our game clubs, we're, we were playing Uncharted last month. So I ended up picking up Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection for PS4. I have all these individually for PS3, but I decided to pick this one up since I already got all the trophies and 100% of the original game for PS3. So I was like, well, there's really no motivation to play it, like, for the millionth time, so I might as well get PS4 trophies. So, I, I mean, I just played on normal and just... Or, no, I think I played on... No, on hard night beat it on. Just to run right through the game. And then I was on Atari Age, and this guy was doing a charity, and he was selling games. So this is the Cow Cowlitz Gamer's Adventure. It's, like, brand new. I end up at... I think I... Did I add... I think I added the, uh... Box protector. I, I can't remember if it came with the box protector. I know with this game, I added it. I'm not sure about this one, but... Anyway, it's still cool. It was cheap. And it's for charity, so... Can't beat that. And then a friend of mine from, um... Retro Gamer for Life, he, he was selling these... Penn and Teller Smoke and Mirrors for Sega CD. So, you know, I... Since I'm collecting for Sega CD, I was like, well, I'm, I would like one in the collection. Just a, basically, just a, a repro game, so. I think it's cool to have. It's, you know, it has its, the history of, I think it tells, like, about the history of the game. And I didn't realize it, but it's actually two discs. So that's kind of cool. So, definitely look forward to checking that out. And it has the infamous desert bus on there. So that's pretty neat. And then what else? Oh yeah, and lastly, I got some trades. So, this one was kind of funny. Kind of happened on a whim. <laughs> so, Eric, um, aka um, the Humble Bumble on YouTube, he posted asking on the Gaming Nation Network if uh, anyone had, you know, he's only collecting for PS2, and if anyone has any like duplicates of PS2 games to let them know. So me, I was just messing around because I I have like a bunch of PlayStation 2 duplicates from when my cousin sold me his collection. Well, not sold me, but he gave me his collection back in December. I was like, yeah, I have all these games. I, well, I, I was just teasing. I was like, oh yeah, I have all this crap. He's like, well, what do you have? And I listed why. I, I was like, oh, I need all of that. I'm like, really? <laughs> I gave him like it was like GTA. Um, what else did I give him? Killzone? Uh, why? I think the first, um, what is it? Not Ghost Recon, uh, shit, I can't think of it. But they were like all common games, and apparently he needed them, so we, we ended up working out our trade. So, and my, what I, what I ended up getting was Sonic Heroes for PS2. I got Ark the Lad. Twilight of the Spirits. Then for PlayStation, I got 
Shadow Man. And then lastly, I got Tomb Raider for PlayStation 1. I decided that I have this already as the black label, but I think I'm going to keep this since I know it's, it's the greatest hits. But since it's a variant, I might keep it, and I think I'm a sucker for variants. Oh, God, shoot me now. Oh. But anyway, uh, thanks, Eric, for the trade. I highly appreciate it. Um, definitely check them out. I'll put a link in the description. And speaking of YouTubers, I did another trade for the YouTuber. This is uh, this is actually a funny story. Um, it's an in with uh, Nintendo 13. I tra ended up trading him like a couple things, and he ended up giving me a uh, complete and block. Com ugh, I can't talk tonight. Complete in box Friday Thirteenth for the NES. I am super stoked to have this. Um, I love horror movies. I love Friday Thirteenth series, and especially with the game, the new game coming out. I can't imagine this is probably going to skyrocket in price. Not that I'm going to sell it. I'm going to keep it in the collection. But like I was looking on eBay for this, and people still wanted like astronomical money for this damn thing. It's crazy. So I'm super excited to have this in the collection. Uh, but funny thing is, is I he's just reached 100 subscribers. So congratulations, man! And his uh, contest was, you know, I had to leave a comment in the description, and to get an extra point, I had to shout him out in a, one of my future videos. So I was like, well, lo and behold, uh, <laughs> I still haven't done my uh, pickup video yet. So I'll sh I'm gonna shout you out anyway, since we did an awesome trade. So yeah, so definitely check uh, Nintendo 13 out. He's an awesome guy. He just, like I said, he reached 100 subs. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, awesome. Thanks, man. And then lastly, I ended up picking up another game from Retro Games Plus, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Russ Lyman's store. I ended up getting Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. And forget about all this. I, I, haven't, I haven't even gotten around to like, cleaning out the games yet. This, like, there's a like, sticker there. I still have to... You know, off. There's some, there's some residue on there, but super excited to have Calyx and Dinosaurs in the collection. This game looks really unique. This is just you're in a Cadillac and you shoot dinosaurs, I guess. I mean, obviously from the title, but I don't know. I never played it, but I was always intrigued by it. What the hell, first person segment? That's weird. There's like a first person segment on there. Interesting. So yeah, awesome. Thanks, Russ, for the awesome deal as always. And that is it, guys. Wow, <laughs> all that, and it's only like 13 minutes. Jeez, <laughs> that's crazy. So yeah, um, thanks you guys for uh, tuning in, and um, yeah. So yeah, I'm back. I mean, I know it's been, I've been super busy with this whole game room, so. Thanks, everyone, for sticking out. I mean, I know it's probably been a while. I, don't, I mean, I did the, um, the Too Many Games one, but that took a while to even get to. So, yeah, so um, that's all I have. And until next time, guys, uh, it's MT Shark 7 signing out. Have a good night. Oops, oh, jeez.